Several private media and online outlets in Guinea launched a one-day boycott of news in protest at press and internet restrictions by the authorities. The protest was announced Monday after the rolling military shut down two radio stations owned by the Africa Vision Group, limited access to popular websites and social media and threatened to cross any media that undermines national unity. From 5 a.m. until now, when I'm talking with you, there is no radio being broadcast, at least a film band, and therefore TV is 100% down, except RTG, Radio Television Guinea, National Television, and also TV's other programs are down. It's just the music, so for us, it's satisfying, said Kemo Mansali, president of AT Park. Association of Professional Media and Audiovisual Technicians of Guinea. The government has denied any crackdown against Afrivision or blocking of the internet. Civilians are now calling upon the government to respect freedom of the press as enshrined in the constitution. I think it's not good. It's not good for us, the population. It's not good for the state because the media journalists are our sources of information and despite the abundance of social networks and even that is currently blocked and we manage to listen to the radios and TVs to better inform ourselves because an uninformed person or society is a danger to society said one resident. The state has been run by the military since 2021 when President Alpha Conde was overthrown. The opposition has called for fresh demonstrations in the capital Conakry on Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching.